How's it going YouTube? LTX Prisco here, coming at you with another deck profile. So, today I'm going to be going over my Light Sworn Should All Build. It's a really fun deck, it's not all that competitive, but it's got some really, really cool combos. And although the deck is almost 100% RNG, uh, it can put up some really impressive boards. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, kicking things off, I run two Lumina and three Raiden. I run two Lumina simply because opening up more than one of her is pretty bad. Um, but you're running Solar Recharge and Charge the Light Brigade anyway, so it's not too bad if you open up two because you can just discard one. Um, but really, you want her to be searched off of Charge of the Light Brigade. Next, I'm running three Wolf and one Felis. I run three of him because he's not once per turn. He's a free level four body to help you make Minerva. Um, and even if you can't make Minerva, he's a 2100 beater. So really, really good uh, to have three of him. And I only run one Felis because she can only be summoned off of either Raiden or Minerva. Um, so it's not often that you're going to get her on the field, but when you do get her on the field, having that extra body does help. So that's it for the Light Sworns. For the Shadals, I'm running two Wendy, two Squamata, and two Hedgehog. Uh, two each of the best ones. And then for the one ofs, one Ariel, one Dragon, and one Beast. Uh, I run two each of these because their effects are once per turn, um, but they gain you the most advantage. This one, you kind of don't want to open. Actually, you don't want to open up either of these, but their effects are too good to not play them. So that's it for the Shadals. And then interesting check choice. I'm running one A Assault Core, one B Buster Drake, and one C Crush Wyvern. It's, you're going to be milling a bunch of cards anyway. So getting these into the graveyard for uh, ABC Dragon Buster is very easy to do and it's pretty free to be honest um and their effects aren't once per turn so if you like summon drake back off of uh cross sheep after you fusion summon and then send him to the grave for like a link then you get his effect to search out whatever your missing pieces are plus union carrier uh can get whatever piece you're missing onto the field then you could just banish it uh, with the other pieces engraved for ABC Dragon Buster. That's it for the monsters. For the spells, I'm running three Solar Recharge, three Charge of the Light Brigade, and three Pot of Avarice. This card is, is so stupid, it really shouldn't be at three, uh, because there's times where I'm playtesting and I resolve this three times because, hey, it's not once per turn. It's it's so broken, it's so stupid, it's it's just too free with this deck because you're going to be milling so much. Uh, for the fusion spells, 3 Shadal Fusion, 3 El Shadal Fusion, and 3 Super Poly because you can go first or second uh, with this deck and this just makes that possible. And the one trap, this is the 40th card. Um, it's this card is just it's so stupid it really shouldn't exist because this with a construct engrave and aerial set face down is a free construct it's it's not even fair now for the extra deck i'm running one minerva she's the card that kind of brings the two archetypes together because her mill effect is not a cost the detaches cost so she not only triggers your should all monsters which help you gain advantage but she also lets you draw cards for whatever light sworn cards are sent to the grave off of her effect so she gains you so much advantage and the only downside is that she's a hard ones per turn but like that's fine because you only need one of her anyway um for the fusions i'm running three construct it really shouldn't be at three but you know that's Bay. <laughs> Two Winda. Um, I thought about putting her to one, but um, 
it's fine at two. Like, I'll probably never summon both of them, but you never know. One app cologne and the one ABC Dragon Buster. Rip, this card went to one. So sad. For the Lynx, I'm playing one Cross Sheep, one IP Mascarena, one Union Carrier, uh, and then one Predator Plant Verde Anaconda. Um, most of these are pretty self explanatory. Um, and then for the other links, I'm playing Appaloosa, Avermax, and Oral Sword. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile. I was going to do a combo tutorial, but the thing is, is the combos with this deck can go any way simply because this deck relies very, very heavily on RNG that you're not always going to end up with the same board every game. Um, it would be nice, but, you know, you can't always get what you want. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.